We got our first new car together. Finally, I'm driving uh, our new car. I, I mean, it's new, but it's second hand. It feels so good to be in this air conditioned car and it runs smoothly. I love it. I can shift the gears just with one finger, look. <laughs> Steering wheels, so like I can move it forward with two fingers. The other one I had to do like, you know, like a lot of uh, workouts. By the way, for everybody who hates on my sunglasses, there's a story behind these glasses, okay? They were given to me by the Pacific Ocean. I was just walking on the shore and I looked down and I didn't have sunglasses, I needed them. I looked down at my feet, I find these glasses. I mean, how do you say no to that? <laughs> they work great. So, I'm not getting rid of them, sorry. <laughs> they hate them. I know, I know, I, I can see why, because it makes your face a bit like harder in a way, just a bit. But yeah. I think it's just because I look like a sociopath and they get scared. <laughs> your name on it. No, what is it? My name? It's a saint. Something Saint oh, Paola. Oh, it's San Francesco di Paola. It's a town here. It says your name on it. <laughs> yeah, like, this is my car, see? It's been there so long, it left like a mark behind yeah, it. it. must have been there ever since they bought the car, like 2005. It's rolling backwards. I know. Okay. I'm gonna show you where I used to go. I'm gonna show you the uh, where my grandma used to have a beautiful house in this very old palace, let's say. Mamma, ti li devo togliere questi quadretti? Eh? Questi quadretti li devo togliere? No, no, li ho levati. Ah, ok. Sì, sì. Voglio fare... Oh yes, some light. Oh my god. Can you see that there's some here? You might have the sun. <laughs> Look at the lake. You can see the lake over there. And now you... Is that a lake? Oh, okay. I see. Can we say what, what this is? So basically this is where my nonna used to live and uh, she passed away, um, what was it, like Come. four months ago? Let's go inside. Let's go inside because it's too noisy. So this is where my nonna used to live. She passed away about uh, four months ago and uh, now my parents are selling the house. This is the town. Uh, this house though was not where I spent my childhood. So I'm gonna take you through this town uh, in the province of Cosenza, Calabria, and I'll show you. That is where I left my heart. I mean, I was playing the house, it was huge. It, it's in the, um, a very historical palace in, in the, you know, uh, piazza, main piazza here. Okay, let's go. How did your grandmother go up and down all these stairs? She was amazing. She could walk. I could, you know, she could, could walk like the age of 90 
No, at the end of the night, she was really slow, but I remember her a great walker, very wow. strong legs. Wow, good jeans. Yeah. Here you can catch the best view. People are looking at me trying to figure out who is she? Where is she coming from? <laughs> Whose family is from? <laughs> this is a very emotional moment for me because look at that window, this window right here. Now it's been, you know, fortunately they don't know anything about restoration, unfortunately, so they didn't keep the right look because it was a very old wood you know but anyway that is the window it was all always open you know and it would you know it, it was going on to the living room this huge living room where we were there was a, a long table we were having lunches there with my nonna you know cooking pasta and everything and this door is where it's the magazino where we, she will keep the storage like a huge storage it's like a garage mm -hmm. or cantina it would lead into a cantina actually and it was so old you know for me going into that old ancient stuff was a to an incredible journey because i was so curious right and i was coming from northern italy everything was more modern i was living in a modern apartment and then coming here was like a, a journey back in time right and this is where my mom grew up as a as a girl and this balcony, believe it or not, is where my father grew up. What? So they were <gasps> neighbors. That's they were so neighbors. Cool. Yeah. This is the cortile. I can't believe it. Even here, they put something new like this. The cortile, basically, you go through this tunnel, and there, there is an opening, like a cortile, like a Spanish cortile. And then up those stairs, you would go into my grandmother's uh, house. And I, I used to spend so much time sitting on the on those you know steps and playing with the neighbors' kids and yeah. And this is the piazza, piazza del Sergio. And we were playing also here with our kids. This is a church. And here I used to come and just admire the lake. We have an artificial lake. So quiet. <laughs> I'm sweating from my ears. Oh my god. So you can get lost in this town if you don't know it. And this is typically, look at this, this is typically the medieval town like is it Roman. because like if they got invaded they wanted everybody to get lost exactly oh so my god it was easier you know that's awesome uh, to defend themselves from attacks yeah and when it rains strong when it rains hard you see it's like a, a like a torrent you know like yeah a... <laughs> i'm just gonna go get down there and then i come back Wow. You, you can't come here with a car, you have to, they would use donkeys. Does yeah. it lead to the same place? I think so. We're gonna give them something to talk about. They're probably bored in this city. <laughs> Thank God they, there's no one in the streets. They are actually gay friendly. I mean, yeah, it is a uh, gay friendly, but what there's about a rainbow <laughs> flag when you as soon as you come into town. And I, I want to ask my parents what that means if it refers to gay and gay are welcome here or something. Mm, like that. It's a know. gay friendly town. Maybe. Why would they use the rainbow flag, right? Mm -hmm. People are staring at us.
Thanks.